Johnny Sauter goes all in at Texas. Rain rewards Austin Dillon and Clint Boyer gets the party started in Michigan. Hi everyone, I'm Kim Kuhn. This is Rearview Mirror. Clint Boyer wins, which means a victory party bash. One that's likely still going on. Before Boyer's party hit victory lane, the warm-up act put on a show. Full distance in, so... Oh. oh my God. Look at that! I know his excited. That was awesome. Uh, I think that's Michael. <laughs> wow. we can that was pretty cool. <laughs> We're all just as impressed, Jamie. And if you attend a Clint Boyer throwdown, Larson's reaction is on point. I don't know. I don't really remember what you asked. It was a triple header weekend for NASCAR's National Series, and Friday night, the truckers did not disappoint. With Johnny Sauter holding off Stuart Friesen in a thrilling last lap charge by the number 52 in the Lone Star State. Then on Saturday, Austin Dillon captured the rain short 91 lap Xfinity Series win at Michigan for Richard Childress Racing. It's the first Xfinity Series win for the organization since 2016. In case you missed it, Stuart Haas Racing Fords finished 1, 2, 3. So naturally, let's check out the Ford Hall of Fans Fan of the Week. Hi, my name is Rebecca Pavlik, and I'm the Ford Fan of the Week. I grew up with a family that always drove Fords, and the day I graduated from college, I got through college debt-free. I fell in love with the Mustang, and I bought myself a 1994 Ford Mustang. I still drive it to this day. Love them. They're dependable. They've never, ever let me down, so I'm stuck on Ford, and all my favorite race car drivers have all been Ford. Are you the world's greatest NASCAR fan? Here's your chance to prove it. Go to NASCAR.com slash Ford and tell us why you should be inducted into the Ford Hall of Fans. You can win a new Ford vehicle plus a VIP experience at the 2018 Ford Championship Weekend. Flashback to Martinsville when Clint Boyer snapped a career-long winless streak after snow moved the race to Monday. Now turn the clock forward, get it, to June and Michigan International Speedway where weather was once again a factor. Before Clint could secure a reservation in victory lane, he had to go through Kyle Larson, who was looking to win a fourth straight at MIS. Larson's feat was not meant to be, with a spin on lap 85, leaving the vacancy sign open in victory lane for the rest of the field. Boyer's crew chief, Mike Bugarabich, used the stage two pit stop to put two tires on the 14 and give his driver the lead. Then it was up to Boyer, who dueled his teammate, Kevin Harvick, on the restart to secure the lead once and for all. A spin by Ricky Stenhouse Jr. gave Mother Nature an opening and ended the 200 lap event after 133 circuits, allowing Boyer to cash in on the opportunity. Roll the tape. We can't make this stuff up. As for Larson, well, his son Owen set the record straight for Clint. Good job, Clint. My dad's gonna win next time. That does it for Rearview Mirror. Cup drivers, enjoy your vacation. But fans, tune in next week as the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series and Xfinity Series take the spotlight to Iowa.